Chevrolet Nova hood hinge replacement. Ed and I just spent two hours trying to figure out how to put these springs <laughs> on the uh, Chevrolet hood hinge. You can see they've got to be stretched out to fit. And there's a lot of tension on these guys. This is not a carburetor spring. So, and then Ed said, why don't we, you know, we've got this fancy milling machine. Why don't we bolt your reproduction Chevy Nova hinge to it? And then I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. Then we could use the spindle <laughs> as a leverage device to stretch the spring out. So you can see we've clamped it down here to the table to uh, two clamps. So it's not going anywhere. I've got a bolt in the chuck here and we're going to put the spring on sort of like that and stretch it over to this point right here which sounds pretty easy all right let's give it a shot ed you want to try and uh you want to try and film this for the see people? what i can do right, so we're gonna start with this guy i don't know if uh the milling machine people ever really considered that this was the best way to use their milling machine but it's only mildly dangerous. Then we got it over there. We need to bring the table up. And go in a little bit. It's the beauty of having a lot of axis here. And come up. Oh yeah, look at that. What you can't see is that I'm cranking the table up. Not about using the power feed, but I don't want to show off. Oh, that looks a little hectic. Yeah, we're not giving up just yet. Hold on, don't panic. Nobody panic. All right. Hectic, yet, I'll tell you. Oh, there, there we go. So it's pretty much, <laughs> pretty much just that easy. I have no idea how other people do this job, but that is how we did it. We did it. Don't try that at home without a mill. <laughs>